area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But they tell you be safe when you out in these streets Rest in peace, King Nip, stay dangerous Cause motherfuckers play for keys Keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster Better keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang clicking blam. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my guy Showtime, S P A R P, Rare Breed Entertainment, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. The clip will blow. I ain't talking fast. You're listening slow. I have come to the realization that us as a people will not be able to understand anything that we're about to partake in today. I have sat here and tried to wrap my mind around it. I've watched the face off between Daylight and King Lowe's, and I've come to the realization that. We're just not, we're just not there. Like we just don't have the adequate level of education, most of us, to in to 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 deal with what we are about to hear. Because when I'm listening to King Lo say some of the things that he is saying, I'm basically telling myself that. We're not going to understand any of this. Like, we're just not. Like, 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 we're just not. I, I, I'm just, we're, we're mentally, our mind capacity is not built for stuff like this. I could have said, right? And then I went into what I could have said. And I talked about, um, you know, the fluoride hardening into phosphate crystals that block the thin gaps known as synapse to block neuron receptors to transmit into your epithesis. But that would have been ridiculous. But that would have been ridiculous. You know, I, 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 I'm going to be on, in order to keep it a buck, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't know. My mind is inclined to be designed to find what it's supposed to find. And, you know, they talk about the lyrical, miracle, spiritual, critical, pitiful, individual. Like, like I, I like pen. I like bars. See, I, I, I know my name is Vada Fly. I come with the swag, the gear, the, the that I get it, but I do like to be inclined. Like I like that. But 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 ARP, I blame this on you. This is your fault. This is why we have an issue. Because you, my friend, are trying to question the level of intelligence that us as a people have or do not have. You know that a lot of fans of battle rap are the, the big can, the shit blam, the gun so big it need two Instagrams. Like that, y'all know we like, a lot of us like that surface shit. But I don't blame you if you're not gonna be able to get what you're supposed to be getting. I mean, because it's gonna take a little while. Like it took me a minute to get Daylight's material versus rock. What I'ma do, what I'ma say, what I'ma wear. Those are all try like the the, the 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 levels that's about to happen today. ARP I do blame you. This is your fault. The face offs yesterday did a hundred thousand views in one day. A lot of people try to downplay RBE like RBE doesn't matter 100,000 views on the face-offs in a day that's a lot of fucking views and if you think about how that translates into people who are actually going to watch the shit when it happens come on son they're getting enough bread to bake biscuits for the whole projects B but I'm just being honest with you ARP I don't like you I don't appreciate what you've done here and, and, and I, I feel some type of way because I gave away pay-per-views you know, I told folks, you want to pay per view a chance at it, follow me on Avada underscore fly. You can check my IG story. The pay per views are there, the ones that I gave out, and it is what it is. I don't I want my money back and I ain't even seen it. I don't even want to give it away. I want I want my money back because this is this is crazy. I, my mind 
Like you playing with my men, you're like, like, come on, Smokey, you playing with us mentally. And you think you slick because once all of this shit comes out and they do the method, the bits, the bits, the lyrical method, like when they do all of this shit, who the fuck is gonna break that down? Showtime SP, he gonna be up there like Giannis trying to break that shit down. It's gonna take him. He gonna take you forever. We are getting back together in about two weeks. Uh, new studio, like I was mentioned before. Uh, new look. I appreciate everybody staying with us for this past six months that it's been since we've been like in the same room together. But that's coming to an end. We're gonna definitely be back. New show, new everything. Uh, I told y'all I'll be back, and um, I'm gonna bring y'all what I promised. Um, but yeah, uh, and 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 A War versus Rosenberg Raw. That shit is turning into a little grudge match. I ain't gonna hold you. I like the way that Rosenberg Raw composed himself. I like the way that he challenged the authenticity of everything that A. Ward has going on. About his battles, about him losing to XL and things like that. And about how he's been doing this since A. Ward was, was still in school, you know. But then I like the fact that A. Ward was able to flip it on him like, yo, you battled Rex, trash, ice, trash, uh... Snake, decent, show off, pulverizer. Like, that's, those are facts. Rosenberg, I fucks with you. Take this walk with me. You know I be saying that shit. You ain't really stood in front of nothing that's compared to what you about to stand in front of today. You have not stood in front of anything that is remotely comparable to the, the ability of lyricism that you're about to stand in front of today. And I guarantee that. You have not lost since you came back. You're facing a loss, a potential loss versus A-Ward you're facing. Now, if you beat him, whew, that's crazy. But anyway, my man Showtime SP, his late predictions are here. Y'all go ahead and support, watch my guy, give his predictions. Salute to Mac Hard, keep you a toaster, the promotional record of the week. We're going to let that thing spin. You dig? Gone. I like to let it marinate, man. I like to let y'all get all of y'all's shit out. So I can tell y'all how I feel, okay? RBE Max Out 2. Let's talk about it. First things first. I saw what I saw and I know what I had saw. And I know it's questions to be asked and questions to be answered. I just want to know how much stock do RBE got? And how much is niggas putting in to get into the stock? Because I seen some... I don't know if he... Got, he might have just bought some stock. I'm just saying you just can't spell... Nobs without putting RBE in it. I'm, j I'm just, I, it makes sense though. It makes sense though. But we're gonna chop it up. We're gonna talk about it real quick. I'm gonna I'm just say this. This, if, if Nobs is, if Nobs is in the, 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 the workings with RBE or anything like that, allegedly, I know one thing's for sure and two things for certain. One SK battles ain't gonna be called one SKs no more because I know somebody gonna ask questions like, what happens if they don't do good on their 1SK? Do they just continue to be 1SK? And if it's a 1SK, it's a one-shot kill. So that means what if you do the one-shot kill? Does that mean you automatically become a RBE mid-tier? What does that mean? Is there a goal? I'm just, I'm, I'm only speculating what I'm only speculating. It's never hating, I'm just speculating. So 1SK battles, I don't really know a lot of them that's going to be on there, but I'm definitely going to be paying attention. I'm going to be watching. Let's get them on out the way though, all right? Bottom of the card, you got Big K versus X Factor. I got Big K winning this battle, um, pretty clear. Um, it's uh, I'm I'm not really a big fan of of both Big K or X Factor, so therefore it could be an even playing field. You know, X Factor hasn't been around for a while, so this is his return. And of course, you know Midwest is on the card. Shout out to Hitman Holland, so you know Calico is on the card. So you know they had to get that Midwest moving, so they had to call X Factor to get on this card, and it makes sense. It makes sense. Is this a max out battle? Of course it is. But I think I'm going to have to get at the big K. 2-1. Expect if you don't say anything, if you say anything pause worthy, you know what I'm talking about, Expect. Like, you know what you're going to say. If you say that, you you know you automatically lose the round. So if you come in clean, just know none of that. Just come in with straight bars, kind of like how you tried to do it with Jerry West. I mean, it, it could be different. But big K got the flow that'll knock you down. And if you wasn't here, you was not around. I'm in Baghdad dropping bombs around. 
your dad ain't here, so call your mom around. Like it's 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 a, it's that thing that Big K's gonna do. So we just gonna go ahead and just go ahead and knock that on out the way. Next up, we got Rosenberg Raw versus A Ward. Does Rosenberg Raw deserve A Ward? Of course, he had to stand in front of Paul Rise. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like I like playing with words too. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the word like I'm a non, I'm an onomatopoeia. You feel me? I can't even say that right, but I'm gonna say onomatopoeia. You feel me? You come up here and you know that I see you. Talk about where my money at? I'm a I'm a, I'm a then I pee you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, but Rosenberg Raw definitely thirty show off. So. Hey, he has to get A Ward. But A Ward ain't nothing to play with. A Ward got three battles in three days in a row. Like, he got a weekend to do everything. A Ward battles. You know what? I forgot to mention that about A Ward. He also sits in that saloon as well. Like, I think he's the bartender. I think he's the bar. That's a bar right there. But I'm just saying, A Ward's the bartender. You can just see him behind there. He got the glass and he answer the phone whenever he get the chance to answer the phone in that dirty saloon that everybody wants to battle. Sometimes you ain't got to battle everybody. But you I know you ain't going to play with Rosenberg Raw. You better not play with Rosenberg Raw. I'm just saying, Rosenberg Raw got a feel that if you play with him, he's going to cook you. That's the way that Rosenberg Raw raps. He's going to give you him. So if you decide to play with Rosenberg Raw, Rosenberg Raw will make sure that you get smoked. I just don't see this happening in this battle. I got a war winning this battle. Clearly 2-1. Hey, Rosenberg Raw, prove me wrong, my guy. I got no problem getting back right here on this camera and telling you I was wrong. You did what you did. But I got a war going ahead and just getting that win about that win. You feel me? Oh, man, let's talk about it. Ill Will versus Jag. You know for real blood. I'm wearing all red, but I'm not a real blood. Even though I got affiliations with real bloods and I know real bloods, that means I sold a couple phones and I may have worked for a place that has the color red, so that makes me kind of a real blood. And there's stuff in my body that, that, that actually flows through my skin, and I think that is real blood, but for real blood... It will might 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 walk out might walk out with this win. I'm just saying because if he does that, at least the first round, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard because once it will, once it will starts that imitation, he's like I can rap like you. Or once a battle rapper does that, like I can rap like you, you could only hear that in the opponent, especially if it's really really good. Like if it's done perfectly, you could only hear that and nitpick it. Case in point, Charlie Clips versus um, uh, Hollow the Don. Once Hollow the Don expressed the four bar setup, you saw what Charlie was going to do. But Charlie also flipped it up on you, too. So, Jag, you got to be predictable, but then you got to be unpredictable. And that's on the real blood. And I'm not a real blood. I'm just saying, for real blood. I got to stop saying that. I just got to stop saying that. <laughs> They're going to come after me. I'm just saying, I'm not. And, it, and I am wearing. Uh, never mind. Uh. Yeah, I said I got Ill Will winning that one. I don't want to say it's a clear 2-1 because Ill Will be playing around with his food. It's because of Ill Will, 40 Cal is still around, and 40 Cal is still thinking that he can smoke niggas. So, you know what I'm saying? And, and of course, you know, and that's and that's no disrespect, you know what I'm saying, to uh, salute to you and everything that's going on and prayers and thoughts go out to you. But that is an example of what Ill Will has done. Every time Ill Will gets a type of person that like yo ill will supposed to smoke him 30 30 ball he don't so ill will don't play with your food otherwise you're gonna be having rare escape because if you cut it you're gonna see real blood you feel me I'm <laughs> look man look man daylight versus king Los. this is actually happening it's actually going down i just got off the phone with daylight he was on the moon in the minutes on that like on that phone call alone i had to buy a whole new house because like that lets you know that that was a, it's a lot this was a long thing so like he said he had to go upstairs and when i say he went upstairs he went to the moon and then he got a phone how you even get service well there's ways you can get service i mean they damn near got comcast and, and verizon xfinity and and and, and files everywhere now so you can get internet on the moon you know what i'm saying but they like had had told had told me that he's gonna go upstairs and he ain't gonna play with me. King Los ain't gonna play with you either. King Los had a good showing, 
versus Head Ice the last time that they battled, the last time that we saw King Lowe's on RBE stage. Did King Lowe's do very well? Absolutely. Do I think King Lowe's can beat a daylight if we get the daylight that we we supposedly had got versus Tay Rock? Nobody's going to beat that daylight. I'm just tired. It's very rare to beat that type of daylight. But the question is, daylight, are you just a flash in the pan? Are you going to reuse what you could have had? Because I know you threw the throwaway bars, but I paid attention to the throwaway bars. So don't try to do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. See, I'm a real Daylight fan. If niggas really remember day Daylight, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. To the back. Anyway, you got to you gotta look your opponent in the face, Daylight, and realize that he is a killer. He also is an industry guy. Even though he's underground industry, he's still in the industry. There is a label attached to him or, or, or some sort with King Los. So, therefore, he has... Uh, uh, projects put out Therefore he He's an industry nigga I ain't gotta explain this Not Daylight winning this one 2-1 man King Lowe's can be Just as surprising As he was the first time But we only give those guys The first round man Just to be surprising Usually the second And the third round They not They not as potent As they was in the first round And that's the That's the stigma That a lot of the The, the, the older Or the industry guys Or people that think That they just got it In the bag It doesn't go that easy it's not that simple for me. You feel me? So, with that being said, I definitely got daylight winning this one. Calico versus Hitman Holla to top it off and to end the night. You know this battle is gonna be the last battle of the night. You know that you know ain't everybody and their mom gonna be on the stage. They're gonna have a whole Midwest movement on that stage. You know damn well any and everybody that has ever repped the Midwest is probably gonna be on that stage. Shout out to to my bro Check the temperature You better be on that stage That's all I'm saying You better If you're not on the stage You better be in the vicinity That's all I'm saying But still This is the division Of the Midwest movie This is separating The men from the boys To be truth be told This battle really does nothing For Hitman Holla Or Calico Because of the fact That they are both legends Let's be real here If Hitman Holla Beats Calico what happens If Calico beats Hitman It's going to be a bunch of excuses On why Hitman Holler Could have won that battle So both of y'all can't slip up Both of y'all can't mess up Both of y'all are the spearheads of this veteran Please don't make this main event a shitty main event Please don't make this night A wasted night Because that happens with main event battles I don't want to be a, a stickler But I'm just giving y'all What I've been saying lately Alright? And I don't want to hear that bullshit about the, uh, well, Hitman versus Cassidy. And, and how did Calico not even know that Hitman's last battle was Cassidy? Never mind. And that's a whole nother situation. I still got Hitman Holler winning this battle 2 1. I got it clear. Um, he's definitely going to show off. He better show out. He better do something that's gonna make us believe that that Cassidy battle he was he, he 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 was he was playing too much. I don't hate Calico at all. I do believe that Calico is a troll though. Calico definitely likes to to poke fun at people and he loves to 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 poke the beehive if you will. But sometimes bees come out and they swarm. Ironically, the bee. The, I'm doing all types of these puns. I hope y'all are catching this. In the comment section, if y'all catching these puns, let me know. If y'all tired of hearing this, don't really matter because it's, <laughs> it's going to get played anyway. You feel me? But overall, I think this card is going to be a max out event. Do I believe that this battle, do I believe that this event is going to shake up the world? It can. This has all types of fire capabilities. But for now, I'm going to smoke it. I already rolled it. I'm going to smoke it. But it needs to be fired. And I need to hit it so good. I'm like, do you believe? Yeah. The streets ain't safe, but they tell you be safe when you out in the streets. Rest in peace, King Nib, stay dangerous. Cause motherfuckers play for keys. Keep you a toaster. Keep you a toaster. Better keep you.
you a toaster Keep you a toaster With all that internet beefing How you out here necking? You mean to tell me you just a loud mouth nigga that's reckless? Some of you niggas got death wishes You do it for likes Go viral to get killed later on that night This shit crazy to find out you wasn't on that hype For them views, you really just pay with your life All the real killers I know, they don't be online And if they is, they just waiting for you to post your lie I ride around me and Hamela 